Hi and welcome to a quick tutorial with TechBlot 360 EX. This is 2014 R2 and in this tutorial I'm going to walk through some of the capabilities for performing integration using TechBlot 360 EX. We'll start by loading a data file. This data file is actually in TechBlot PLT format. Um, none of the things I'm showing you here are unique to PLT, it's just a starting point. The example I chose to use is actually a UAV this UAV is uh, open source geometry and therefore is something we can share on our website. Okay, a couple things to point out. The, uh, the geometry itself has a right wing, which we can uh, put on the mesh on the right wing, the left wing, and the fuselage here very quickly. And then we have uh, three rear wings, so we have a uh, right tail section, which uh, we'll make say purple. We have the tail center which uh, we'll make uh, red and lastly we'll make this white. And this is uh, okay. So whoops, perhaps white is not the best. Let's let's change that to say gray. Take a second. Oops. Um, so a couple of things you can always undo here. Uh, volume mesh, that's what's going on. So anyway, ah, oh, there we go. You can see it a little better. We'll just change this to yeah, orange or brown. All right. So ultimately, there's a couple of things we can do here. Integration in TechBot 360 EX. There's a number of strategies. We can do mass flow rates. Uh, we can do forces and moments. Uh, we can do scalar integrations. So we're going to actually do just two examples in this case. We're going to focus on the right wing. We're going to do forces and moments on the right wing. Uh, we're also going to look at a scalar integration of pressure on the wing and finally we're going to do mass flow rate. This particular example is not great for, for looking at mass flow rate in terms of the overall utility, however I think walking through the capability is important. So a couple of things we're going to do. Uh, the integration that we're going to focus on is just in one area so we're going to hide the fuselage, the wings, we're just going to focus on uh, the, in this case, the right wing. So if you hit Control F, that'll put the wing in uh, the main interface. I'm going to uh, do one quick thing, which is turn on the contour, and we're looking at uh, pressure in this case, and we'll turn off the mesh. So, okay, so this is the pressure on the wing. Um, you'll notice that the rotation, the center of rotation, is currently at the fuselage center. If I want to make it on the wing, I can just click and hit the O key. That just changes the orientation axis, or the axis of rotation. All right, so we have the data. Let's go ahead and do some integration. If you walk over to the Analysis or Analyze menu, down about uh, three quarters of the way down, you'll see Perform Integration. And if you select that, it'll bring up the Integrate dialog. So a couple things we're going to do first is a scale integration of pressure. And we're going to do that for a specific zone. So I can select the zone of interest, which in this case is the right wing. And I can perform the integration. So this is just the integrated results. I can certainly I can also put those on the plot. And I can edit them. So this is, for example, the right wing. And uh, it's the nature of the data that I have in here. The, the negative is not real. It's actually positive. And this would be uh, pressure. OK, so we have the, the pressure now. We can put it here on the plot. Uh, if you hit the plus key, you can make it a little bigger. So we'll just put it up here. In addition to looking at simple scalar integrals, we may, in fact, want to look at um, say the forces and moments. So I will look at the forces and moments for the same zone and we'll hit integrate. So it's a little um, it's a little bit slower than doing a simple scalar integration. There's a little more to the, the integration. Okay, so this is the data. I can make this text and uh, then open it up and same thing I can put this on the right wing. and uh, maybe I don't need the word results and uh, at this point I can also change things like the font so if I want to use uh, Greek 
could use Greek letters or um, oftentimes I like to look at using Calabri, but that's just me. Okay, and uh, we'll make the size a little bigger as well. And we don't need it bold. Okay, so now we have uh, done the simple integration. We've done forces and moments on the wing. We've also looked at the total pressure on the wing. Now let's look at uh, a little bit different. We're going to look at mass flow rate. So the last type of integration, I'm going to go into all of my zones here, and I'm going to turn back on the shade in the Zone Styles dialog. Uh, this is, again, just for context. Um, I'm going to reset the rotation axis to be back on the fuselage. And uh, just to make this clear, I'll, I'll delete the text that was there, just for example. And let's get rid of the, uh, the legend as well. All right, so let's uh, just go ahead and drop in a slice. So uh, the slice is in the X direction, which is fine. I'm going to right click on the slice to make it translucent. And uh, let's say we'll make it 50% translucent. And I'm going to look at the Y velocity on the slice as well. I could look at the mesh and turn the mesh off. So you have all the same style capabilities in the toolbar as well. And again, I'll hide this. In order to do the integration today, you have to do an extraction. To extract a slice, whether it's a volume slice or a surface slice, we right click on the slice and go to extract. And what that does is basically make that a zone, which uh, I will hide um, in this case. Okay. Under Analyze, we'll go to Perform Integration and now go to Mass Flow Rate. Select the zone of interest, which is the extracted slice, and hit Integrate. And there's the integrated mass flow rate. Again, I could make this text. But uh, I want to show you one other piece of information around data. If you go to Auxiliary Data and uh, look at the auxiliary data associated with the frame, you'll notice that the integrated totals for lift and drag are now part of the data file or part of the uh, layout so if you were to save this layout and you can actually access these because they're in the the layout you can access them for additional calculations you can also use them in data alter as well and that's how you leverage integration capabilities in TechPop 360 EX thanks for watching